They misbehave uh, a lot less. I, I've seen this very practically. Mm -hmm. And very dramatically. And this very dramatically. And 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 én már van hogy a két nap közben, hogy akkor tudnak játszani a zenei hangszereket, és akkor egyrészt megtanulják őket, meg így akkor van egy sikerény, mint hogy a készségeiket illetődnek tudnak is szólni. Jön egy két nap, de egy két nap, 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 During the jump up period, if they have a good jump up, then they can have a feeling or an experience that they have a, a higher taste. Mm. Or if they listen to the stories of the Shiva Bhagavatam, then they can think about them. They also experience the belonging to a community and they experience that they are part of a bigger, bigger group. That is very important. To have that uh, support from community. Because without Sadhu Sangha, advancement in spiritual life is almost impossible. So to feel that connection, this is my community. Uh, 
or else they weren't allowed to attend school that day. I was just a little bit of a fanatic. <laughs> anyway, then we were asked to start a school in, in another community many years later. Aztán sok évvel később megkértek bennünket, hogy kezdjünk el egy iskolát, egy másik közösségben. We had a meeting with all of the families. Volt egy nagy gyűlésünk az összes családban. They said, we're not going to do that. Mondták, hogy hát ezt nem tudjuk megcsinálni. They said, we've been accustomed to having programs in our own home. Ahhoz vagyunk hozzászokva, hogy ott volt tartó program. And we want to have that as an option. És szeretnénk, hogy ez egy választási lehetőség legyen a számunkra. So I thought, oh, that's... Third class. I agree. But I just. And we came up with a system. Where if the children had a program at home. Or if they had a program at home. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. Then they brought in a little form to school. És akkor így uh, rugalmasabbá tettük mellett a szabályokat. So they can miss three days a month. És uh, egy ilyen módon akkor három napot tudtak hiányozni egy hónapban. And additional if there was some big program at night. Uh, és még ehhez hozzáadott az is, hogy felsőtel volt egy nagy program este, akkor, akkor ez egy plusz, plusz hiányzási lehetőség. So that, it started to be a very educational experience for me. És ez elkezdett számomra egy nagyon érdekes oktatási tapasztalatá válni. That I saw there were also benefits to having a program at home. Mert láttam azt, hogy abban, abból is kaptak áldást, vagy abból is az is, hogy amikor válik, hogy ott van részt vesz a program. And I completely changed my view. És teljesen megváltoztattam a látásmódot. Because what I've seen is that many devotees do not continue with their son in the long term. Mert láttam azt, hogy nagyon sok bakta hosszú távon nem fogja folytatni ezt a fajta szabadalmat. Ez egy probléma az egész világon. They do it for a while, and they're living in the ashram. Hogy nagyon komolyan csinálják, amíg az ashramban élnek. But then they can't maintain it. De aztán nem tudják fenntartani. And I started to think, I think I'm sure there's many reasons, but I started to think of one possible reason. És biztos sok oka van, de elkezdett, elkezdtem gondolkozni egy konkrét okon. If we teach that the temple program is the only way to do sadhana, hogyha azt tanítjuk, hogy a templomi reggeli program az egyetlen módja annak, hogy valaki szadalázzon, well, that way is not possible for most people with a job. Akkor, ami, ami egy, hogyha valaki dolgozik, akkor legtöbb ember számára az munka mellett nem lehet sincs. Or going to a university. <coughs> egyetlen bejárakos. Because our program goes from 4:30 in the morning until 9 or 9:30. But the program is regularly 9:00 to 9:00, 9:00 to 9:30. How are you going to do that? So it's going to be difficult. It's almost impossible for most people. Since the last time I went to the bazaar. And if they think I have to do it like that. And if they think I have to do it like that. And if they think I have to do it like that. And if they think I have to do it like that. Akkor gyakran csak teljesen feladják. And the other thing is the temple program you become very dependent on the community. <coughs> És a másik dolog, hogy a templomi program nagyon nagy mértékben függ a közösség. You haven't necessarily developed the strength to do it on your own. Lehet, hogy valaki nem fejlesztette ki elég elég magában ahhoz, hogy ő maga tudja csinálni. Just like I see you're taking attendance. Például itt te írod a jelenetet. So I'm wondering, is my name on that sheet? Gondolkozom azon, hogy tételem is rajta van, és nem. So that's a good system. Ugye ez egy, ez egy jó rendszer. When you're training, when you're in training. Amikor valaki egy képzési rendszerben vesz részt. But at a certain point. De egy adott pontban. You should come whether your name's on the list or not. Hogy akkor is jönnöd kell, hogyha akár felvegyél a neved a listára akár. You shouldn't need that kind of support anymore. Hogy egy pont után nem szabad, hogy erre a fajta támogatásra a szükséged legyen. So I saw that when families had programs at home, és azt tapasztaltam, hogy akkor családok otthon tartanak programot. It was giving the children a different kind of training. Akkor ez egy más volt a képzést adott a gyerekek számára. We're going to do sadhana even if we don't have a big group. Még akkor is fogunk szadhanázni, hogyha nincs egy nagy csoport. And they could adjust the program to the needs and the situations of their family. 
és a saját családjuk igényeire tudták szabni a programot. So I came to see that doing both was probably the best situation for children. Ezért azt találtam, hogy valószínűleg a kettőnek a párhuzamos végzésnél az a legjobb a gyerekek számára. So the children had a program pretty much every day. So a gyerekek majdnem minden nap készültek egy programot. Sometimes at home, sometimes at the temple. Néha a templomban, néha otthon. They would have training in both areas. És akkor mind a két helyen akkor kaptak képzés. And some people might want to go to the temple six days a week and a program at home once a week. És voltak, akik heti hajtszor akartak menni a templomba programra, és egyszer otthon tartani. And some people might want to have a program at home six days a week and come to the temple one day. És lehet, hogy vannak olyanok, akik heti hajtszor akarnak otthon tartani, és heti egyszer a templom. Also sometimes groups of families can have their own program. És az is egy lehetőség, hogy hogy több család együtt, akkor tartanak programokat. Especially if they live far from the temple. Főleg akkor, hogy távolabb a templom. Because it's definitely easier if another family is coming to your house. Mert mindenképpen könnyebb akkor, hogyha egy másik család jön a házba. If you know, you know, another three or four people are coming over at five in the morning. Hogy tudod azt, hogy három öt másik ember jön reggel a házat bőtkor. Then you'll also wake up. Nem még pont megálltogattam egy ilyen közösséget. Nincs egy hivatalos templom. De van egy vakta, aki minden reggel tart reggeli programot az otthonában. És más emberek jönnek. Szóval számukra is lehetősítő. And they've also made some adjustment to the schedule. És a program időbeosztásán is tettek némi változtatást. So people come at five. Az emberek ötkor érkeznek. And they can leave at six thirty-seven. És hat harmincét korát tudnak menni. I lived for many years in a temple where they had an adjusted program. Sok évek keresztül egy olyan templom valahol, ahol szintén egy ilyen módosított reggeli program. So I'm going to take this from four thirty to five. Négy harminc tól ötig volt a vonalon. No announcements. No meeting. No meeting. Immediately drop at five o'clock. As long as you're able to do that. Until six. Hot. One hour. One hour. And then six o'clock group puja. Just fifteen minutes. Then you toss the RT. Just fifteen minutes. Ten minutes. So then it's six twenty five. Then six twenty five. Then you have to wait for the RT. 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 És utána volt a vágat. And the DD greeting was 7.15. És uh, 7.15-kor volt a, a DD greeting. So the class had to end 7.15. Tehát 7.15-kor be kellett fejezni a lecke. Then little bajan. A kicsi bajan volt. 7.30 percent. 7.30-kor volt a prasad. And that really facilitated people to go to work and go to university. És ez uh, nagyban segített az embereket, hogy tudjanak munkába menni, hogy tudjanak egyetemre járni. So also at home, one can have an adjusted program like that. Or one can have like 10-15 minutes of the RT. Or one can have like 10-15 minutes of the RT. Or one can have like 10-15 minutes of the RT. Or one can have like 10-15 minutes of the RT. Just five minutes of Guru Puja. Just five minutes of Guru Puja. Just go through the prayer one time. Or just sit down and listen to the Guru Puja. Five minutes of the RT. Five minutes of the RT. Read something from the books, 15-20 minutes. Then it was fancy. What was the value of the program? And then program was over by 7:00. It's 8:00 to 8:00 for the regular program. So you have a very solid program. And you can still go to work. You may be like when the door goes in. You still go to school. You may be able to earn your own schoolat. And then also to think about making simple breakfast. And then also to think about making simple breakfast. And then also to think about making simple breakfast. So the woman also can have her son. She's out to have one. Yeah, her dad's not here, so I can just go out and have dinner with her. Sometimes it's the man who cooks. They have fair feet too, so. Nothing complicated. No, no, because she's not going to do that. Otherwise, you see, sometimes the woman is in the kitchen. That's what we're going to do. Check out for how long. Two hours. Sit down and rest. And where's her job at time? She's going to have a job today. And where's her class time? És hol van a, a last day day? And then she's just watching the children running around. Aztán pedig csak nézi, hogy a gyerekek szaladgálnak körbe körül. So you can make a very simple breakfast. Lehet egy nagyon egyszerű reggelit csinálni. You can cook porridge in 5 or 10 minutes. Lehet zaktársát csinálni 10 perc alatt. So something very, very simple. Valami nagyon egyszerű. Then on the 
we can to make pancakes. <laughs> but a time when the family can really worship together. A time so the family can really worship together. Szóval kell időt spórolni azért, hogy a család igazából együtt tudjon imádni. So other things for worship at home. Más dolgok, amik segítik az otthoni imádatot. Having a scheduled time. Az az, hogyha van egy, egy időbeosztás. Which means going to bed at time. Which means turning off your computer. <laughs> Prabhupada talked about taking van prast or sannyas. And he compared it to when the shop closes in the afternoon. I remember one time I needed to go to the bank. Emlékszem, hogy egyszer el kellett mennem a bankba. We had only one car. Egyetlen autónk volt. And my husband had the car at work. És a féljemnél volt az autó, amikor munkában volt. That was probably about seven months pregnant. Azt hiszem, hogy akkor egy hét hónapos teres volt. And my daughter was about two years old. És a kisvágyom akkor volt két éves. Our son was an ashram. A fiam pedig már az ashramban volt. So I had to walk to the bank. And I was walking as fast as I could. And I got there three minutes before closing time. But they had already locked the doors. And they had no pity on me. A little baby in a stroller and pregnant, they didn't care. We are closed. We are closed. We are closed. We are closed. So we should be like that with it going to sleep. So well, it's all actually she and the kids. Time to close. Like a zombie. Some pregnant lady with a baby is knocking on your door. Yes. 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 And then it's good, of course, to have a special place. I think most of all, he's set up some altar in their home. And best to have the whole family participate. So this can mean giving the children something to do. I mean, they have to be at least, say, one, one and a half years old. <coughs> to give them something to do. Just like the devotees here asked me to do a workshop with children from birth to age six. The bhakta kerti, hogy csinálni egy ilyen workshopot, ahol a csecsemőktől a hat éves korig gyerekekig beszó, szóval hogy egy szám. I'm wondering what kind of workshop do you do with one month babies? Gondoltam, hogy mit csinál valaki egy egy hónapos gyerekkel. Milyen versőpot lehet tartani, hogy egy 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 valamit gyerek. But at least about one, one and a half. De már egy másfél éves. They can have something to do. Akkor már nekik lehet adni valami, csinálni valamit, elfoglalatsát. You start giving them some responsibility. Lehet nekik valamilyen felelősséget adni. You may say, that's ridiculous. Hát, hogy valaki azt mondja, hogy hát ez hallott van. You know, Krishna and Balra were taking the calves out to the forest when they were three years old. Tudjátok, hogy Krishna és Balára vitte ki a bolyakat, amikor már három évesek voltak az erdő. Now, I don't suggest we do that. Nem javaslom, hogy ezt csináljátok. But there are still cultures in the world where young children do things like that. De vannak olyan kultúrák a világban, ahol fiatal gyerekek csinálnak dolgokat. Even today. A mai napig. But they can do simple things. Tudnak egyszerű dolgokat csinálni. Putting the incense from the packet onto the tray. Hogy a füstölőt ki tudják venni a csomagból, és beberakják a füstölőt a kormányt. And they love having some responsibility. És imádják, hogyha van valamilyen felelősség. As soon as they're about three years old, they can offer RT Tulsi. Hogyha már három évesek, akkor tudnak tulaszinak állat utáján. And this is one of the really nice things about having a program at home. És ez az egyik legjobb aspektus annak, hogyha valaki ott mondta a programot. Because in many temples they don't want to do that. Mert a legtöbb templomban nem akarják, hogy a gyerekek mit csinálják az állatot. You can have them make gee wigs. Lehet csináltatni velük gee mécsöseket. 
play Redunga. Yes, I did that again. And this, okay, this is your job. And when they get a little older, you can even have regular responsibilities for the different children. And you can even make charts where the children know what services they do. Again, you have to have children probably at least four years old. But you can ask them what you want to do. You can also ask them what they'd like to have in the program. You can structure it a little differently. I'm thinking about especially what you do for class. As feel like a program program at home you could structure a little differently than in temple class. So we've published some festival books about I think five festival books for children. festival Of course they're in English. Maybe somebody could translate them. And they are divided according to Panchanga Bhakti. And one section, of course, is Shastra. So for each of these books, we've given activities children can do in relationship to Shastra. Starting as young as two years old. So you could look at some of those ideas. And get ideas that would include the children. I see many times the adults think sadhana is for adults. Don't include the children. Have them be sleeping. Have them be sleeping. You know, let them do something else. They can just color pictures. Basically make it so the children don't bother anybody. So we can just focus on ourselves. Without those children. So it is true for little babies, it's nice if they sleep during your job. But for every other agreement. But for every other part of the program. Is there a speaker in this? Is there a speaker in there? Yes. Yes. But for every other part of the program, the, program in the, is in the, the children can participate. So we were saying, having them see that this is my community. So it should be a community that they are a part of. So just imagine, and some of us are not going to have to imagine this. The time of death comes. You don't just think about Krishna. You think about Krishna and money. Krishna is a person. Or you think about Krishna and that attractive person in the temple. Or something. You think about Krishna and. And then you find yourself listening to the kirtan from the side of a womb. And then your mommy brings you to the temple. And you have to the temple. Oh, at least I'm in the temple. Oh, it's like the temple, but we're And then, then you're scrolling around. Someone says, get that kid out of here. Keep that stool bag away from the Merdanga. These are true stories. And there you are, you're just nine months old. 
<laughs> and then you get a little older. And it's so CIT. You're so CIT. And you're running around to see. These are true stories. And some of those get those children to behave. Are they clean? <laughs> and you're sitting in the class and you hear something you don't understand and you ask your daddy what does that mean? And everybody goes, shh! Take that child out. And you're hearing that your whole life. Can I do some service? No. Only adults. Do you know what this means? Are you chanting 16 rounds? Do you know what this means? And if you're told, get out, get out, get out. Then one day you say, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen this many times. <laughs> and you go home, the children can participate. What do I get a Christmas card? So, moving on to the temple. If we really want the children to feel part of the community, then you have to make them part of the community. Then you have to make them part of the community. And we're never going to build a society without children. We're never going to build a society without children. There's no religious or economic or social organization that has children. There's no religious organization that has survived long term without children. Nem létezik olyan vallási szervezet, vagy vallási közösség, ami hosszú távon fennmaradt volna gyerekeknél. In the whole history, in all recorded history, getting adult converts is never enough. Getting adults who convert to the religion, it's never enough. Sosem elég az, hogyha felnőttek megtérnek annak az egy vallás. To preserve a religious tradition. Ahhoz, hogy megőrizzenek egy vallási hagyomány. And if you think about the fastest growing religions in the world today, what are those? Does anybody know? Who are those? No. 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 are also trying to get adults to come. Who are those? No. 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 Who are but they have a lot of children. A lot. Yeah, the families are having five, ten children. And they integrate the children into their communities from a very young age. So somehow we haven't understood this in our Christian movement. It's like we're, we're trying to be a society of sannyasis. Oh, you want a child? 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 We say to people, oh, you want a child? You know what that's going to do to your son in a ride? Do you know what that's going to do to your son in a ride? You want two children? You want two children? Ah, are you going to be able to chant your 16 rounds? Six children? Oh, Derek. Ah, that's going to be difficult. We know about you. We're not going to grow a society, people. Yeah, but I'm going to focus on the society. With with those kind of attitudes. That's enough for the whole class. And then imagine how the children feel. Csak képzeltek el, hogy hogy érzik magukat egy ilyen nagy gyerek. Oh, there's another little burden. Oh, itt van még egy kis teherke. And you have another burden. És egy másik teher. Oh, I'm burden number three. Én vagyok a harmadik számú teher. And I hear this all the world. 
Az egész világon ez van. So, if we want the children to participate in the temple programs, hogy ezt szeretnénk, hogy a gyerekek részt vegyenek a reggeli programban, tanulni programban. So, can I be honest? Lehetek őszinte? So, I was in Mangalartik this morning. Itt volt a Mangalár, ma reggel. I saw no children. Nem láttam gyereket. Not one. Egyet sem. A DD greeting? No children. És a DD greeting-e, ott sem volt egyet. Why? Miért? Consider carefully. Gondoljuk át, hogy meg kell nagyon meg kell gondolni. Do you really want to build a society? Igazából egy egy társadalmat akarok építeni. Maybe we should take the society word out of Iskand. Lehet, hogy az Iskondból ki kéne venni ezt a közösség szót. Just Iskand. Iskond. International Krishna consciousness. De ez az egyik Krishna tudás. We're we're pretty good at that. Mi vagyunk jók? I think actually we're very good at that. Most ezt a vagyok vagyok jók. We're really good at international Christian countries. We're quite so good at international society. And that, my dear friends, has to have children. And one time when Prabhupada was saying the Premadvani prayers, Egyszer, amikor Sülakról Pál mondta a Prémadványi imákat. He said, all glories to the assembled devotees includes the children. Hát az minden dicsőséget az összeimben kapták, akkor a gyereket is beletartozik. So this requires a certain attitude among the adults. Ez ehhez szükségben megfelelő hozzáállásra, vagy megértésre a felnőttek között. And it's a real challenge because in society in general, there's a very anti-children attitude. És ez egy igazi kihívás, mert általánosságban a társadalomban van egy nagyon gyerek ellenes hozzáállás. Nyugati társadalomban általánosságban, de mi? Gyere, embereknek már valószínűleg nincs neki gyereke. Olyan alacsonyra csökkent a születési ráta. Hogy vannak helyek, ahol a kormány nagyon-nagyon aggódik. But there's a great attitude in society. An attitude in society in general. Van általánosságban egy ilyen hangulat vagy vagy attitűd a a társadalomban. Children are expensive. Gyerekek drágák. And they're a burden. És egy teher teher mindenki. What about your career? Mi az a karriered? And we we bring this into Krishna consciousness. És ez bárhol csak Krishna tudod. I hear this from the women all the time. Ezt a nőtől is hallom folyamatosan. What about my service? Mi az a szolgálat? It's the same mantra as what about my career? Az ugyanaz a mantra, mint hogy mi lesz a karrierem. You're just sprinkling some Krishna on it. Csak így rászok egy kis Krishna. And you hear from the men. És ezt is hallom a férfiaktól. Oh, so much trouble. Oh, annyi nehézség. So much trouble. Pénz. And my dear friends, none of that's true. És kedves barátaim, ezek közül egyik sem igaz. Just not true. Ez csak nem igaz. If you want a chance to see Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it even if you have nine children. If you want to go to Mangalarti, you can do it Actually, it may become to my glory. It may be come. It's just as I can't shut it out. I'm going to bring the children. I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. If I'm going to bring the children, I have to be there too. Nem mondhatom azt, hogy jó, akkor ti kérdezzetek, én nem vagy az. But there requires a certain atmosphere in the temple. De ehhez szükség van egy megfelelő atmoszférára, hangulatra, tartalmú belül. The children are good. A gyerekek jók. For the society. A társadalom számára. They're needed. Szükség van rájuk. They're welcome. Szeretettel vannak fogadva. And you can be a mother and have full son. És lehet egyszer anya, te is szadana. I mean, I know I'm a little extreme. To do me a little bit extreme, are you? But I went to Mangalarti the next day after I had. 
De másnap reggel mentem magam el, amikor mi utána szültem. De legalább magam mentem. Aztán ugye hozzáadtam is nekem. But it's possible. De lehetséges. And when the children come regularly, és amikor a, a gyerekek rendszeresen jönnek, then they get on a schedule. És uh, akkor úgy uh, lesz egy ütelük, vagy egy ilyen választás. And they facilitate your service. És fogják segíteni a szolgálatodat. Now it's true that children are noisy. Az igaz, hogy a gyerekek zajosak. And they can't control their senses. És nem tudják kontrollálni az érzékeiket. And they're dirty. És hogy piszkosak. That's all true. Ez mind igaz. But just tolerate. That's just how we do. How can we show? Just like we have to tolerate so many things from each other. It makes for a shiny thing that all of that can be shown. Yes. To have a community. Oh, so because it's shiny, can't show. I mean, I know some communities where they don't preach to women to become devotees. To do for a community, that the women that they should pray to God and be more devotional. I was talking to one of the leading preachers. Ez egyik vezető prédikátorral beszélgetünk. He said, so we go out to the colleges. Mondta, hogy kimegyünk az egyetemekre. And then any of the men who are interested, we get their email and phone number. És uh, hogyha a férfiak közül vagy a férfiak közül bárkit érdekel, akkor elkezdjük a telefonszámot, hogy e-mail szívni. I said, what about the women? És kérdeztem, hogy és mi van a nőkkel? Oh, we don't purposely exclude them. Ó, hát úgy szándékosan, hogy nem vagyunk be őket. We just don't take their contact. So when you visit that temple, amikor oda mész a bal templom, bal templom. So for Mangalarti, there's 150 men and about three or four women. Mangalar százat a férfi van, és körülbelül három három nő. So very nice for the Brahmacharis. Ez nagyon jó Brahmacharis. They don't have any women distracting them. Nincs zavaró női tényező. They don't have to worry about that the women like to wear pretty clothes. Nem kell az a lagodni, hogy a nők szép ruhákat szeretnének fölvenni. But they're not going to build a society. De nem fognak egy közösség és egy társadalmat építeni. So it's the same thing. Ugyanaz a dolog. If you don't involve the children. És ha nem mondjátok a gyerekeket. Then there's not going to be anybody making noise. Akkor nem lesz lehet, hogy nem lesz senki, aki zajt csinál. But you're not going to build a society. De nem fogtok egy társadalmat építeni. Not be able to go on. Of course, it's nice to have a special room. Persze, de jó, hogy van egy külön szoba. And maybe keep a, some furniture there where you keep toys. Sőt, lehet valami kis bútor, ahol vannak játékok. Like you have a new Vajshnam, it's perfect. Ahol a ami van Krishna a völgyben, ez tökéletes. That's one of the best examples for the whole society. Itt egész Iskon közösség számára az egyik legjobb példa. So now we're going to look at our own inspiration. And this part of the workshop applies to anybody, whether you have children or not. So Shilu Prabhupada says the highest principle is to save others. And higher than that is to save yourself. <laughs> so, how, how many of you have ever been on an airplane? Okay, so you know they have the announcement that if they lose pressure, the oxygen mask will come down. They said if you're sitting next to someone who needs help, azt mondják, hogy ha valaki mellett ülsz, akinek szüksége van segítségre, you have to put on your own mask first. Először a saját oxigén maszkodat kell felvenni. So this is how to take care of ourselves. So ez arra mutat rá, hogy hogyan kell először magunkra gondoskodni. So that if I come back here in 10 years, so hogy ha 10 év múlva visszajövök ugye mindig, if I live that long, vagy ha még addig megjövök, I'll still see the same faces. And more. And after 20 years. I don't think I'll live that long. I'll still see the same faces. And more. That having children will make you more enlightened in your spiritual. Okay. 
So we're going to look at various areas. Meg fogunk nézni különböző területeket. We have the this paper. Six different areas. Hat különböző terület van. That can keep us in alignment in our sadhana forever. Amelyek lelkesedés, meg tudják őrizni a lelkesedésünket örökre a szadanával kapcsolatban. So the first is getting practical help. Az első az az, hogy gyakorlati segítséget kér. Okay, now especially for parents. Főleg a szülők számára. In a traditional society you had an extended family. Egy tradicionális társadalomban volt egy kiterjesztett család. I see this when I visit my children. It really helps for them when grandma's also there. Then I do some of the cooking and some of the childcare. Right now, my oldest son and my daughter live next door to each other. Most úgy van, hogy a legidősebb fiam és a lányom ők egymás mellett laknak. So the children can run over to auntie's house. És akkor így a gyereket csak át átszaladhatnak a nagyinak a házába. My one of my brothers-in-law was the oldest of ten children. Az egyik vejem, ő tíz gyerekes családban volt a legidősebb fiú. And most of the children lived very close to each other when they grew up. És a gyerekek nagyon közel laktak egymáshoz a felőtt. And the children could just run from one house to another. The gyerekek csak átmentek egyik házból a másikba, szabadon. And the family, the brothers and sisters, would share cooking and childcare. És a a testvérek pedig megosztottak a főzésben, vagy a gyerek vigyázásban. So gradually, we should be developing this within our societies. Fokozatosan ezt ki kell fejleszteni a társadalmat. So where you have, you know, grandparents and uncles and aunts and cousins who are also Vaishnavas. Egy olyan társadalmat, ahol a, a nagyszülők, a nagybácsik, a nagynénik, az unokatestvérek mindenki bak. És ilyen családi kapcsolatok nélkül. Akkor próbálhatunk legalább egy lelki családot felépíteni. Where we help each other. Ahol segítjük egymást. So we don't have all the burden of everything on one person. Szóval nincs minden súly, minden felelősség egyszerű. So this is also the loving exchange of giving and accepting gifts. A szintén bele tartozik azokba a szeretetes kapcsolatokba, ami a ajándékadás és elfogadása. This means being willing to ask for help. Ez azt jelenti, hogy hajlandók vagyunk segítséget kérni. And willing to look around and see who needs help. És hajlandók vagyunk körbenézni és megnézni, hogy kinek van segítségre szükség. And offering to help each other. És felajánljuk a segítséget egymásnak. Okay, now we're going to look at getting real nourishment spiritually. <coughs> Just like Prabhupada asking the leading preachers and managers to go once a year to Mayapur. <coughs> to get more spiritual nourishment. So whether in the family or not, wherever your situation, hogy teljesen mindegy, hogy milyen a helyzetet, családosok vagy, 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 vagy sem. Sometimes when I'm really feeding my own spiritual life. Kellenek, hogy legyenek olyan idők, amikor igazából a saját lelki életemet táplál. So I have one friend who's a, a married mother with a child. Van egy barátom, aki egy házas nő, gyereke. And she and her husband run a, a business. És ő is a férje egy üzletet vezetnek. And they also are in charge of many, many preaching programs. És ugyanakkor nagyon sok prédikál a programért felelősek. They practically, it's like they manage a temple. Gyakorlatilag olyan, mint hogy egy templomot vezetnek. And a business. És egy üzleti vállalkozás. And their family. És a család. So I said to her, you must eat one gulab jamun every day. És akkor mondtam neki, hogy minden nap meg kellene egy gulab jamun. Not literally. Nem, nem szó szerint. Figuratively. You understand? I said every day you must do something just for your spiritual happiness. Minden nap kell valamit csinálnod, ami csak a te lelki boldogságodért van. Maybe have a bhajan. Read some 
book of Krishna that you really enjoy. At least one verse. Something just for you in spiritual life. Not something I have to do. But something I want to do. At least five minutes a day. Do something that's really, this is just for my spiritual life. And every once in a while. Once, once a week, once a month. Sometimes this is this is for my spiritual life. And for each of us that would that be something different. Maybe it's doing artistic work. Lehet, hogy ez mondjuk ilyen művészeti munkát jelent. Maybe coming to the temple and dressing deities. Lehet, hogy azt jelenti, hogy valaki egy a templomba felöltözött a múltikat. Maybe it's just reading books. Lehet, hogy könyvosztást jelent. Maybe it's writing poetry. Lehet, hogy azt jelenti, hogy valaki költeményeket ír. But something for myself. De valami, ami, ami csak ér, ami értem van. And that's not selfish. És ez nem önzőség. It is not selfish to have your own oxygen mask on. Mert ez nem egy önző dolog, hogy felekod a saját oxigén maszkodat. That is not selfish. Az nem önzőség. Alright, next thing. Oké, okay, következő tudok. To have the association of fans. Do you know what fans are? <laughs> um, like, people go, yeah. yes, team, go, go. Okay, tehát ez nagyon jó. You understand? This is what this is. So this is people who say, you're wonderful. You're awesome. Super. You have to have at least one person in your life like this. I think especially when you're a mother. I remember when I went out on the Christmas marathon. And sometimes I would win prizes. És előfordult, hogy nyert a díjakat is. And Aurelia distributed 600 back to Godheads. És akkor kiosztottam 600 vissza is lesz magasztat. And they gave me a maha plate. Akkor adtak egy ilyen maha tárcát. In front of all the devotees. Minden bakta előtt. And I was thinking about this. És legoglalkoztam ezzel. I thought I never got an award for changing 10 poopy diapers. És hát igazából sosem kaptam volna egy elismerő szót, hogyha mondjuk kicserélek tíz kapis pelekkel. Az is sosem kaptam megbecsülést. Ugye mondtam már nektek, hogy minden reggel vittem a gyerekeket reggeli programra. All the school children. Minden gyereket az iskolában. I did that for 17 years. And then at one point I retired from that service. So one of the devotees of the community said to me. So we should have a party. We should celebrate this. And I thought, yeah. But they never did it. So we need somebody who celebrates with us. Kell, hogy legyen valaki, aki velünk ünnepel, vagy minket ünnepel. Whatever our service is. Függetlenül attól, hogy mi a szolgálat. It doesn't have to be public. Nem kell, hogy egy nyilvános dolog legyen. But we tend just to celebrate the people who give money and the people who distribute books. De hajlamosak vagyunk arra, hogy csak azok a dicsőítsük, akik pénzt adnak, vagy kimennek a nyatisztat. Nobody else gets celebrated. No one self says, "You just washed your one thousandth pot." And we celebrate after they die. Krishna Das washed thousands of pots. Krishna Das who took a thousand of them to the But he's dead. So we need that in our life also. <laughs> so find somebody like that. You can even do it for each other. <laughs> okay. 
I changed 10 poopy diapers today. <laughs> Oh, that's so wonderful, Prabhu. Oh, that's really so delicious, Prabhu. Do you know what Lord Chaitanya said about that? Do you think Mother Teresa would say that? He did say something about that. Lord Chaitanya did say something about that. Lord Chaitanya Mother Teresa would say that. Okay, next thing. Correct us. We also need people who will correct us. We are some of the most important people in our lives. At least one person. At least one person. Who can say? You are in Maya. <laughs> and we say, thank you. <laughs> we don't say, what do you mean I'm Maya? <laughs> I mean, who are you anyway? <laughs> what about your Maya? <laughs> and you don't know how hard I'm trying. <laughs> Not that. Well, we just say thank you. And I'm not Help me. At least one person. So of course that can be guru. But it can also be somebody else. That not too much. You can have many shiksha gurus. And somebody that we can go to. And say what do I need? What am I doing wrong? And we actually want to know the answer. And is someone who knows us well. Somebody we trust. That they can say something very strong to us. But we know they like us. So I found having people like this is one of the most valuable things you can have in spirit. Az a tapasztalatom, hogy amikor van egy ilyen személy az életedben, az az egyik legerősebb, vagy legkomolyabb dolog a lelkiácsban. Like ha legalább egy személy nincs, aki ilyen, akkor el kell gondolkozni az, hogy miért. Maybe you act in such a way that everybody's afraid to correct you. Lehet, hogy egy olyan módon viselkedsz, hogy mindenki fél attól, hogy kiadjusat én. Just last night I was talking to a devotee over the computer who was correcting me. Pont erre a pestel beszéltem egy baktával a Skype-on, aki éppen kiavítottak. And I was so grateful. És annyira hálás voltam. Ez kiemelten fontos, nagyon fontos. Otherwise it's so easy to get off the path. Másképpen olyan könnyű letérni az útra. Or get complacent. Vagy hanyagál állni. I was one devotee I know. Ismerek egy baktát. Who said to me, you know, Amala, I'm not changing my rooms. And I said, I already knew that. She said, how did you know that? I said, well, it was pretty obvious. But she has a big position. And I regularly talk to her about this. How's your job? What are you doing? Did you know? Oh, today was very good. Oh, my luck wasn't very good. Which I didn't get out today was very bad. So we're much more focused here. My luck was not very good. So I'm the only person who talks to her about this. You mean because I just said something and I just said it? We need somebody. So she can come back again. Okay, next category. Okay, correct. This is category. People who are doing a similar service to us. Olyan személyek, akik hasonló problémát, vagy hasonló szolgáltat végeznek mindig. So, the fans, they can be in a different service area. A rajongóink, vagy a támogatóink, ők lehetnek más szolgált a területen. The person who corrects us can be in a service area. Az a személyek kiavít bennünket, ők is végeznek más szolgáltat. But we want to have some friends who are doing the same kind of service. De akarunk olyan barátokat, akik ugyanazt a szolgáltat végzik. If you take care of young children, it's good to... Have association with other parents of young children. If a fiata kisgyerekek a vigyázol, akkor jó, hogy a szülőknek a társaság szintén ugyanezt tesz. So for me, like I'm regularly writing. Én rendszeresen írok. And yesterday I talked a little bit with Roger Sevaki. És tegnap beszélgettem egy kicsit Roger Sevaki. Just twenty minutes. Csak húsz perc. But it was so helpful. De annyira hasznos volt. To find someone who's doing a similar service. 
találtam valakit, aki hasonló szolgáltat végez. And sometimes you're going to talk about direct spiritual things. És néha közvetlenül lelki témákról fogok fogtok beszélni. But sometimes it may be just practical things. De lehet, hogy néha csak gyakorlati dolgokról. Sometimes I talk with sannyasis about luggage. Néha a sannyasikról, sannyasikkal a csomagokról, csomagolásról vagy pakolásról beszélni. What do you pack in your suitcase? Mit pakolsz be a bőrödökben? Because nobody else understands this. Mert senki más nem érti meg. Nobody understands. Senki nem érti meg. What does it mean to live out of a suitcase? Mit jelent egy bőrödből élni? No, one suitcase. Egy bőrödből. For a year, year and a half at a time. Egy évig, másfél évig egyszer. It's nice to sometimes have somebody who understands that. Néha jó, hogyha találkozunk olyan akkor, akik ezt megadnak. Oh, look at this thing I got. I got this special jacket. Well, it's a cool jacket. And it has 25 pockets. Who's in a jello? How does that work when you go through security? What you could do with the jacket when you go through security? That's also useful. That's 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 useful. That We find new solutions to our problems. Other ways of doing things. We don't. We feel that we're not alone. We feel that we're not alone. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. Okay, now we're going to go to the last thing. People ask all the time. Az emberek folyamatosan kérdezik. How can I have constant enthusiasm? Hogyan lehet az, hogy hogyan tudok folyamatosan lelkesnek maradni? Of course, that is the stage of nishta. Persze, ez a nishta nagy szintje. Ez a nishta szint. When at least fifty percent of your inertias are gone. Amikor legalább az alattán fifty percent of your inertias are gone. But even at that stage. De még az alatt szinten. The body and mind are affected by the modes of nature. A testet és az elmét, a testet és az elmét a hatással vannak a természet kötőerőjére. Do you have a Hungarian bagot? Van egy magyar bagot, Nita? Is it? Oh, fuck it, not good. Yeah, it's just only if you can get very quickly. Most nagyon gyorsan. 1422. So I'll be in English. Oh. Actually, you all have on your paper. Okay, you all have on your paper. It's right there. I'm sorry. Because I want to have a copy of the book. Did I get Everyone have this paper? No. You don't. You didn't get that paper. That's only for me. No. Oh. Is there enough that you could share? Yes. How many people have this one? It says ups and downs. The ups and downs paper. Raise your hand if you have the ups and downs paper. Okay, if you don't have, please share. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to, this is an experiment. I'm going to try reading this in English. And you follow on your sheet in Hungarian. Can we try that? You try that. We'll see how this works. Okay. 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 When they are present, or long for them when they disappear, who is unwavering and undisturbed through all these reactions of the material qualities, remaining neutral and transcendental, knowing that the modes alone are active, who is situated in the self and regards alike happiness and distress. Who looks upon a lump of earth, a stone, and a piece of gold with an equal eye? Who is equal toward the desirable and the undesirable? Who is steady, 
situated equally well in praise and blame, honor and dishonor, who treats alike both friend and enemy, and who has renounced all material activities, such a person is said to have transcended the modes of nature. Purport. Arjuna submitted three different questions, and the Lord answers them one after another. In these verses, Krishna first indicates that a person transcendentally situated has no envy and does not hanker for anything. When a living entity stays in this material world, embodied by the material body, it is to be understood that he is under the control of one of the three modes of material nature. When he is actually out of the body, then he is out of the clutches of the material modes of nature. But as long as he is not out of the material body, he should be neutral. He should engage himself in the devotional service of the Lord so that his identity with the material body will automatically be forgotten. When one is conscious of the material body, he acts only for sense gratification. But when one transfers the consciousness to Krishna, sense gratification automatically stops. One does not need this material body, and he does not need to accept the dictations of the material body. The qualities of the material modes in the body will act, but as spirit soul, the self is aloof from such activities. How does he become aloof? He does not desire to enjoy the body, nor does he desire to get out of it. Thus, transcendentally situated, the devotee becomes automatically free. He does not try to become free from the influence of the modes of material nature. So what is being said here? So what are you doing? As long as we have a material body and mind, it will be affected by the modes of nature. Sometimes we will feel full of light and happiness. Sometimes we'll be attached and full of desires. Sometimes we'll be tired and discouraged. We should hate these, nor desire them. We should be neutral. This is not me. This is just the modes of nature. We should become like an observer. The modes are acting in the body. <coughs> But they are not me. It's not that when I'm influenced by goodness, I'm spiritually advanced. And when the body is influenced by ignorance, now I'm not spiritually advanced. My activities and realizations are independent of a tevékenységeim és a megvalósításaim ettől függetlenül. Oh, there's the most goodness. Oh, ott van a jóság. Oh, now there's the most goodness. Most pedig itt van a tudatlanság. I am neutral. Semleges vagyok. Now I'd like to read something for a Christian author. Azt szeretnék elolvasni valamit egy keresztény nyíltó about what to do with the down times. What to do with the times where we feel discouraged. Or tired or hopeless. So we're going to try doing this the same way. I hope it's a good translation. This is from C.S. Lewis. As a C.S. Lewis novel. From a book called The Screw Tape Letters. I do have a book called The Screw Tape Letters. Screw Tape means. It's a name. That's your name. The Screw Tape Letter. This is this is a very nice book of instruction for neophyte devotees. It's a good book. It's a very nice book of instruction. 
And Jai Dwaita Swami and Rabindra Sri told me it's one of their, each of them told me it's one of their favorite books. So if I'm in Maya, I'm in good company. <laughs> Hopefully I won't get criticism. Okay, so we're going to be interesting. So we're going to, you can follow along in Hungarian. So I got to get a correct image. Has no one ever told you about the law of undulation? As spirits, humans belong to the eternal world, but their bodies and minds inhabit time. This means that while their spirit can be directed to an eternal object, their bodies, passions, and imaginations are in continual change, for to be in time means to change. Their nearest approach to constancy, therefore, is undulation, the repeated return to a level from which they repeatedly fall back, a series of troughs and peaks. You can see this undulation in every department of life, interest in work, affection for friends, physical appetites, all go up and down. As long as one lives on earth, periods of emotional and bodily richness and liveliness will alternate with periods of numbness and poverty. One must ask what use God wants to make of the dryness and dullness phase. In God's efforts to get permanent possession of a soul, he relies on the troughs even more than on the peaks. Some of his special favorites have gone through longer and deeper troughs than anyone else. The reason is this. The obedience which God demands is not the absorption of its will into his, but quite a different thing. He wants servants who can become sons. He is full and flows over. He wants a world full of beings united to him, but still distinct. And that is where the trials come in. You might wonder why God does not make more use of his power to be sensibly present to human beings in any degree he chooses and at any moment. But the irresistible and the indisputable are the two weapons which the very nature of his desire forbids him to use. Merely to override a human will as his felt presence in any but the faintest and most mitigated degree would most certainly do, would be for him useless. He wants the living beings to be one with him, but yet themselves. Merely to cancel them or assimilate them will not serve. He is prepared to do a little overriding at the beginning. He will set them off with communications of his presence, which, though faint, seem great to them, with emotional sweetness and easy conquest over temptation. But he never allows this state of affairs to last long. Sooner or later he withdraws, if not in fact, at least from their conscious experience, all those supports and incentives. He leaves the entity to stand up on its own legs, to carry out from the will alone duties which have lost all relish. It is during such trial periods, much more so than during the peak periods, that it is growing into the sort of being he wants it to be. Hence, the prayers offered in the state of dryness are those which please him best. He wants the living being to learn to walk and must therefore take away his hand. And if only the will to walk is really there, he is pleased even with their stumbles. Illusion is never more in danger than when a human being, no longer desiring but still intending to do the will of God, looks round upon a universe from which every trace of him seems to have vanished and asks why he has been forsaken and still obeys. Very powerful. Okay, do you all have a pencil or a pen, something to write with? Okay, we're just going to do a quick thing here. You have a little self-exam. Everyone has a little 
This is just for yourself. So let's go through and give ourselves some scores here. Now, of course, this was designed for parents and teachers. Persze ez uh, szülőknek és tanároknak lett megírva. So if you're not a parent or teacher, so if you're not a parent or teacher, you'll have to, you know, adjust it a little for your service. Akkor a saját szolgáltatóknak kell egy kicsit alakítani. Okay, if you can start. Provide. So why don't you take three of them that you're really happy with how you're doing and you can put a little star next to them, a smiley face, something. Celebrate, something to celebrate the things you're really, that are really good. Something where you can get yourself a fine. 
Give that little star a smile. She loved to smile. And pick one thing. Just one. That you're going to work on in the next week. Amivel a következő héten tudok dolgozni. To improve. Amit tudok javítani. So please pick, pick one. Legalább egyet válaszolni. Who you got, you know, one, two, three. Amit azok közül, amit, amit így egyes, kettes, vagy háros értéket adok. And by next Saturday. És következő szombatig. Figure out a way to, to help with that. Találjátok ki egy módszert arra, hogy ezzel tudjatok foglalkozni. Just, just one. Megvírkozni, csak egyet. You can celebrate a lot of them. Nagyon sokat, de akkor így lehet megvírkozni. Anything that's a four or five, you can put a little star. Sokkal lehet örülni, hogy ha négyes vagy ötös tartatok magatokni. Okay, I think we should probably end now. Köszönöm, hogy be kellene fejezni. Should I take questions or end because it's already night? Anyone have questions, comments? Well, I think okay, I just have like was that finished? Yes, Or sometimes with a very small group. 
I sometimes when I travel, I just stay at somebody's home. We do a program just with their family. That's like a Rasmalai. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> but it can be just as nice. I mean, you know, give me this kind of I think I can use That's my preference. As a, as a, as a preference, I just said the main. But it's nice to know that Krishna is in your house too. They will put me in Krishna as well as also the Manish. That's a good thing to know. Is that your daughter from Jessica? Is that alright? How are we going to spread Krishna consciousness to everybody on the planet? We are going to go to the planet and get Krishna to the planet. We're going to have to train up a lot of temple presidents. <laughs> Prabhupada talks about there are 5,000 temples in Vrindavan. <laughs> Most of those are somebody's home. So what are we going to do with that? They're not 5,000 big official temples. But that's our natural state. 
De ez a természetes állapot. So materially that's not so good. Az anyagi szempontból nem túl jó. Because we can easily be deceived. Mert nagyon könnyen félre lehet minket vezetni. But if we have a good authority, it's very nice. De hogyha jó autoritásunk vannak, akkor ez nagyon jó. We don't have so much of an independent nature. Akkor nincs olyan fajta független természet. So, but overall, the female body is a dissident. De uh, teljesen, teljes egészében a női test az egy hátra. So it's like with children. Ez ugyanúgy, mint a gyerekeknek. Overall, the child's body is a disadvantage. Uh, hogy az egész képet nézzük, akkor a gyerek test az egy hátra. They're very dirty. Nagyon piszkosak. Very uncontrolled. Nagyon uh, kontrolláltak. Very self-centered. Nagyon önközpontúak. But they have an advantage. De van előnyük. They're very simple. Nagyon egyszerű. Their faith is very simple. A hitük nagyon egyszerű. So, I want to work with their advantages. Akarok a, a pozitív adottságokat építeni. So, children are not going to be naturally very detached. A természetüknél fogva a gyerekek nem lesznek túl elkülönültek. Generally. Általában Some children are naturally detached. Vannak, vannak olyan gyerekek, akik természetesen fogadóan elkülönültek. De ez, ez szokat. Okay, look at the page with the quotes. Nézzük meg azt az oldalt, amit idézettek. The third from the last. Utolottak a végéről a harmadik. Toward the end of that quote. Tehát a legvégéről számít a harmadik idézettek a vége. Middle, actually. Ez ebben a közepén van. He says that children should always be instructed by taking advantage of their playful mood and teaching them to play Krishna games. A gyerekeket mindig úgy kell oktatni, hogy kihasználjuk a játékos természetüket, és arra tanítjuk őket, hogy kristály tudatos játékokat játszanak. And you see how Prabhupada says, take advantage of your playful mood? Hát észrevezetek, hogy Prabhupada azt mondja, hogy kihasználjuk a játékos természetüket. And then he says, they should play like they are actually present in association with Krishna. És mondja, hogy igazából úgy kell játszaniuk, mint hogyha Krishna-nak a társaságában lennének valójában. So that's hard to do when you're an adult. So you can't expect to be quite fond of it. You know, we lose some of our imaginative qualities when we become an adult. When we grow up, we lose some of our imaginative qualities when we become an adult. So if I said, okay, all of you right now, akkor mondanám most, hogy mindannyian, hogy ez a szobában. Imagine the Krishna sitting right next to you. Képzeld meg el, hogy Krishna ott ül előtted. And he's kind of looking over your shoulder at what you're doing. És kicsit így néz a vállat fölött, hogy pont mit csinálsz. What do you do? Mit csinálsz? Can you do that? Ezt meg tudja tök tenni? No. Egy kicsit. Children can do that very easily. Gyerekeknek ez nagyon könnyű. And Prabhupan is saying the children should do that. Prabhupan mondja, hogy a gyerekeknek ezt kell csinálni. Say, okay, we're going to play a game. Okay, akkor most játszani fogunk. And Krishna is also here. Krishna is itt van. I've seen children do this spontaneously. Láttam azt, hogy a gyerekek is spontán oldal csinálni. We had some children playing hide and seek in our house. What a gyerek that we used to have in the house. My granddaughter was about three years old. Az unokám a kislány unoka lány az három éves volt. And she went up to the altar. Oda ment az oltárhoz. She said, "Gordy, Tai, tell me where Kunti is hiding." Oda ment az oltárhoz, és mondta, "Gordy, Tai, mondd el nekem, hogy Kunti hova van, hogy hova van Tai." And I noticed this one day at lunch for Sal. És egyszer a Prasadon a levét időben szintén is születtem. Everyone else there had been born in the movement, except for me. Hogy rajtam kívül mindenki a mozgalomban született bele. The ages were maybe 3 to 25. És a különböző korok az kb. 3 éves, 25 éveség bezárva mindenki volt. And they were talking about Krishna. És Krishnáról beszélgettek. And the way they were talking about him, it sounded like he was a family member. És ahogy ők beszélgettek róla, az úgy hangzott, mint hogy egy családta benne. Like they really knew him. Mint hogyha úgy igazából is kell lépni. And I was just thinking, wow. I thought, you know, it takes 20 years in the movement generally for somebody to do that. És akkor általában olyan 20 évek telik, amíg valaki a mozgalomba erre képes lesz. Krishna wasn't some idea for them. Krishna nem csak egy ilyen elképzelés volt a számokra. He wasn't a philosophical concept. Nem egy ilyen filozófiai gondolat. He was their friend. Nem a barátok. I was very natural. Nagyon természetes volt. So, my point of all this. 
Ennek az egészet a lényeg. Don't try to make children into adults. Hogy ne próbálj a gyerekekből felnőttet csinálni. Don't focus on the bad qualities they have because they're in a child's body. Ne fókusz ezekre a rossz tulajdonságokra, amik a gyerek testből fakadnak. You, you really can't do anything about that. Az a kalapot semmi csak kezdeni. That will go away naturally when they become adults. Az a természetes módon el fognak múlni, amikor felnőttet kívánok. Like I was talking about running around Tulsi Davy. Itt amikor mondtam, hogy így szalagál a Tulsi Davy körül. How many have you have you met the cure to your name Amala Harinam? How many have you met? Amala Harinam, who he fell out with last year. How many have heard his cure to your name? How many have heard his cure to your name? So he was that boy. He was the kid. That was him. That's who he was. He was racing around Tulsi. He just fought hard with Tulsi girl. Every morning. Every morning. When he was like eight years old. When he was eight years old. And it would really disturb some of the people. És uh, sok volt, hát igazából megzavar. They come to me and say, can you make him stop? Az jöttek hozzám, és mondták nekem, hogy meg tud állítani. They said, it's not very respectful. Ez nem tud tiszteletre vettem. I said, he's going around Tulsi. Csak tud, hogy itt járja körül. What do you want him to do with that energy? Ezzel az energiával mit akar, hogy is jelent. I said, don't, I told him, I said, don't worry. Mondtam, nekik ne aggódjatok. He said, "When he grows up, he'll do, he'll find what to do with it." Amikor felnő, akkor nagyon jó fogja tudni, hogy mit kezdjen az az energia. And right now, just leave him alone. Right now, just leave him alone. Most pedig meg csak hagyjuk őt békén. So the faults of children will go away naturally. Gyerekek hibái nagy része magától elfutó. Don't try to make them into big philosophers. Ne próbáljuk belőle nagy filozófusokat csinálni. That's not the strengths of childhood. Ez nem a, a gyerekkornak a sajátossága. But this is the strength of child. De ez, ez, a, ez a gyerekkornak az erőssége. They can feel that Krishna is my friend. Ők tudják érezni, hogy Krishna barátja. Come on, Krishna! Gyere, Krishna! And they feel like that. És úgy is érzik. You know, we, we can't do that very well. Ezt nem tudjuk mi volt megcsinálni. And you can just talk to children about Krishna's pastimes. És ők tudtok beszélni Krishna a kefteléségre a gyerekeknek. You know, if you do that with the adults, they'll kind of look at you funny. Even in the Hare Krishna movement. 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 Even in the Hare Ez gyerekek kell meg tudjuk csinálni. Just talk about Krishna. Csak beszéljünk. Nobody will criticize you. Senki sem fog beszélni. So go through the strengths. Szóval használjátok ki az erősséget. And if the children are absorbed in Krishna. És hogyha a gyerekek elvannak merülve Krishna. Then they'll naturally be detached from the ups and downs. Akkor természetes módon el lesznek körülülve a hullámhegyektől és hullámhegyektől. Speaking of Bakasura. Pont Bakasura tanított. So after Krishna killed Bakasura. You tell Krishna to go to Bakasura. And then he came back to the village. And we saw the follow. And the cowherd boys were saying, "Guess what Krishna did today?" And she tell the pastor to come and tell him to give his love to Krishna. Everybody was just embracing Krishna with so much affection. You know, because of course, he had to tell the lady to Krishna. Oh, Krishna, you're safe. Oh, Krishna, I'm so sure about you. You killed the bad guy. My God, the devil's field. Says that they forgot all the material mysteries. As many as we need, then I need to know what we're going to talk about. So that's how you bring children to neutrality. Yeah, because they learn that we're showing them how to talk about it. For us, we need some philosophy also. Some of them are suffering from the philosophy. But they don't need philosophy. They can't be suffering from it. And give them philosophy also. That's how we can have philosophy. But work on what is their strength. They can't be as if they're just sheep. Okay. Don't try to make them into little adults. I provide them with a kiss for the day. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Jai. Mula mata ni pi. Jai.